I'll be honest, the most important tool for becoming a successful content creator, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube or any social media platform, is never going to be fancy software or expensive camera gear. It's always just gonna be your creativity. But sometimes the tools and gadgets can definitely help. So in today's video, I wanted to provide you with a roundup of 10 tech gadgets that are gonna make your life way easier as a content creator. These are things that I have used over the years as I have grown my platform on YouTube and Instagram and my podcast, and I think that they would probably help you on your journey as well. Hey, in case you're new here, my name's Katie. Welcome to my channel. Here, I like to talk about all things social media, content creation, and what it's like to be a full-time content creator. Make sure you subscribe. If you feel like this might be your vibe, I'd love to have you around. And uh, with that being said, let's talk about my first tool on the list, which is an iPhone or just smartphone tripod mount. This little piece of gear here is probably the cheapest thing on this list, except for a few things which are free, which we'll get to in a minute. But it was just about $13 on Amazon and is probably my most asked about piece of gear of all the stuff that we're talking about today. I've gotten so many questions about this over the years because it is just so helpful. Whether you want to film TikToks or Reels or some kind of fancy shot for an Instagram story, having a way to hold your phone in a particular position is going to be a game changer for you. So if you're used to just like pushing your phone up against a stack of books or something to try to frame up your shot, then grabbing one of these is going to be huge for you. I personally think it's one of the better investments that you can make, especially as a beginner content creator, because it's so affordable and it really unlocks a more professional level of content creation for all your future vertical videos. Number two is the perfect pairing to the iPhone tripod mount, and that is this nice and portable Manfrotto tripod. I've had a lot of different tripods over the years as a YouTuber, and the one that I'm using right now is another Manfrotto model, and it's great, but it is very heavy um, and very hard to move around. But this really nice little light portable one, I think is the perfect option for content creators because not only is it more affordable, it's a pretty good price, it also packs down to just about the size of a water bottle, which makes it easy to bring along with you if you're traveling or trying to shoot content out on the fly. You can easily screw that iPhone tripod mount that I talked about before onto the top of this Manfrotto tripod and then you're good to go. You can basically set up your phone wherever you want it to be to grab your desired footage. Number three actually does happen to be free and that is good lighting. I had to include it on this list because I feel like when you're starting to think about tools and gadgets for content creation, probably like a ring light or some kind of fancy LED light comes to mind. But I'll be honest, for the past like three years, the only lights that I have used to film my YouTube videos has been the sun, windows, natural lighting. I always find that I get the nicest results with natural lighting and obviously I'm super fortunate to have really big windows in my apartment, which makes that easier. But you can see in these sample clips here just how much a difference facing a window can make. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might remember when my desk used to be set up further back into my condo and the lighting was fine there. But now that I'm sitting right next to my windows, I feel like it just makes it even crisper and cleaner. So really think about that when you're setting up any photo or video shoot. You don't need any kind of fancy lighting. Just get in front of some natural light and you will have great results. Number four is a tool that many content creators use, but if you aren't yet, you need to get onto it, and that is Canva. I'll be honest, I used to shade Canva a little bit back in the day because I originally learned graphic design in tools like Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator, and so I thought Canva was kind of like a cheater's way of making content, but I have totally revoked that stance because now my team and I use Canva all the time for our own content and for our clients because it truly is a powerful graphic design tool. I know a lot of people associate it with 
like templates and sort of like a beginner way of designing stuff. But Canva actually has a lot of tools that you can use to do things that are more complex and custom. All the time we are diving into Canva and creating our own custom templates that are then repeatable so that we can make sure that our client's content like stays on brand. And of course, like I do the same for my own Instagram page. And it's just a really nice way to be able to save everything online, to collaborate with other people. And yeah, I definitely still use Photoshop a lot, especially if I'm trying to you know, do more complex editing, like make a background blurry on a thumbnail or whatever. But I really think for a lot of content creators, Canva can pretty much cover anything that you might need to do, whether it's Instagram graphics, YouTube thumbnails, podcast artwork, whatever. If you're a fan of Canva or want to get better at it, then you'll want to check out my social media marketing agency's Instagram page. It's called Creatorly Media. We love to share Canva hacks over there. So go give us a follow and you'll learn how you can use this free software to do some really incredible things. The next tool that you definitely need to check out as a content creator is Cisco's WebEx desk camera. And by the way, thank you to WebEx for sponsoring this video. The WebEx desk camera is a great addition to your existing setup because you can capture 4K video with this and record that crisp high quality footage directly to your laptop. This is Cisco's 4K webcam. It is super easy to use with any laptop or desktop computer. You can really easily just hang it over the screen of your laptop or your monitor, plugs in via USB-C. And what I love about it is that it comes with a mechanical privacy screen. So it's just like this little thing that you can slide in front of the camera. Um, it also protects the lens, so it never gets scratched. It's super compact, so it's easy to store, travel around with, and it is the perfect tool for achieving really high quality video, whether you are doing it on a live stream or for a video that you're gonna create for YouTube or Instagram. I would recommend this, especially for YouTubers or streamers, but I think it can be really effective for podcasters and Instagram content creators as well. The next gadget that I wanna talk with you about is also provided by WebEx, and that is their Headset 730. These wireless Bluetooth headphones with noise cancellation are super high quality and are going to be an amazing listening experience while you're working on editing any kind of video or audio content on your laptop. Cisco's 730 headset even comes in this lovely traveling case, which keeps it all safe. Plus in the back here, we've got a aux cord. So you can either plug it in and use it as a Bluetooth headset, which I love to do, or you can plug it directly into your computer. And we've got our charging cord, which is a regular USB to USB-C. These headphones are simultaneously lightweight, but also super high quality feeling. Of course, you can make them a little bit longer to adjust if you have a big head like me. I love the physical controls on the side where you can easily um, skip songs, increase the volume. It's really nice because you can actually feel the controls that you're using rather than having to like tap around on, you know, some headphones you just tap to make stuff happen. These are very easy to navigate without having to look at what you're doing. These are gonna offer the perfect audio experience, whether you're editing a YouTube video, which is what I tend to be doing when I'm wearing these, or editing a podcast, or if you're just on a call and you wanna have high quality audio for when you're speaking and when you're listening. I think both the 4K webcam and the noise canceling headphones are essential for any content creator or really anybody working from home. The future of work is hybrid. Whether you're in the office, at home, or somewhere in between, these hardware pieces from WebEx can help you look and sound professional wherever you're working from. Background noise removal on these headphones makes it so that when you're on a meeting, say in a busy cafe, the technology isolates your voice so that everyone in the meeting will only hear you, not what's going on behind you. So if these products interest you, make sure you check out my link in the description and thanks again, WebEx, for sponsoring today's video. The next tool that I think is super helpful for any content creator is a remote shutter app for your camera. This is gonna vary depending on the camera brand that you have. I personally shoot on the Sony a6600, and so I use the Imaging Edge app to remotely shutter my camera so that I can take photos of myself. So basically what I can do is set up my camera and kind of frame out whatever shot I want to have, get myself in the shot, pose, 
press the shutter button on my phone and then because I always set it to two second timer, I can quickly hide my phone behind my back or somewhere outside of the scene and then have the photo taken. So basically you can be both the model and the photographer when you use an app like this, which let's be real, that's pretty much what being a content creator is. So if you want to basically do two things at once, this app is going to be essential. Earlier, I mentioned scheduling platforms, which brings us to the eighth tool that I wanna share with you, and that is Later. If you've been watching this channel for a while, then you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Later. I use it for scheduling my own content and for all of the clients over at Creatorly Media. Through Later, you can schedule content for Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, and it's all in a beautiful visual layout that you can access on desktop and on mobile, and you can start using it for free. So I personally recommend getting one of the paid plans because then you'll be able to schedule feed videos um, and just get a few more features that you wouldn't normally get with the free one. But if you're on a budget, free is available. Number nine on my list is Lightroom. This is another great tool that you can access for free, though I personally use the paid version because again, you get a few extra nice features, but this is the perfect app for editing your photos. You can create presets, which helps you keep your feed looking consistent, helps you establish a consistent brand on Instagram. And it's super easy to use, again, either on desktop or on mobile. Because I have the paid version, I have it like synced between both of them, so I can literally upload a photo from my phone and then edit it on my laptop if I want. So definitely try out Lightroom for editing your Instagram photos. Number 10 is the captions app. Now I know there's lots of different apps that auto generate captions for you. And I know even within TikTok and Instagram, they have built-in features for that now. But for the past couple of years, I've been using this app, which was originally called Captions for TikTok, but I will try to link it in the description so you can find the exact one, because I find this one to be really user-friendly. You can either record into it like you would on like Instagram stories or whatever, but you can also upload videos from your camera roll, which it will transcribe. You can choose what kind of font and positioning you want for your captions, and then you can export a video that has captions baked into it, which is really nice if you're trying to create content that you want to post to both Instagram and TikTok, maybe YouTube Shorts as well. You know that it's gonna be consistent across platforms, so you don't have to worry about the auto captioning features in all these different places. Obviously, you wanna make sure that your content is accessible so that people can consume it, whether or not they can hear what you're saying. And of course, there's a lot of people that don't listen to the audio when they're looking at Instagram stories or TikToks or whatever. So captions are really important when it comes to making sure that everybody has access to your content. So definitely check out this captions app. It's free. I personally think it's one of the better ones out there and it means that your content can be consistent no matter where you're posting it. And those are my 10 tools and gadgets that I think are going to be super helpful for you as a content creator on Instagram and on other platforms as well. I hope you found this video helpful. Once again, if you are curious about the webcam or the headphones, make sure you check out that link to those WebEx products in the description. Thank you again to WebEx for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you for watching and I hope that you are having adventures and following your dreams and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.